Hi everybody, uh, today I'm doing my demo on Take A Whiff. Take A Whiff is an awesome deodorant. I guess probably not many people do demos on deodorants, but I feel like it's necessary because our products have lots of ingredients from ancient cultures and I just really want to explain to you why they're in there because there are no throwaway ingredients. We don't have any ingredients in our products that are not meant to do something. And that's not the case for a lot of deodorants, so I feel like it's really, really important that I explain that to you. Um, first of all, this deodorant is double the size of a normal deodorant. It is very, very, very dense. It's a heavy deodorant. This deodorant should probably last you a year. Um, I guess it depends on how many swipes you do. Um, I've been learning a lot about swipes, and I'll explain that to you um, when I do actually my demo of this deodorant. Um, but anyway, what I want to do is I want to go through the ingredients on the deodorant and explain to you why we have them in there. The first uh, ingredients are, um, we have two probiotics in this deodorant. I think that, I'm not sure, I could be wrong, but I think we're the only deodorant on the market that has two probiotics. Saccharomyces fermin and alpine lichen. What causes the, the odor underneath the arm is bacteria and probiotics are bacteria, but they're good bacteria. And so when you fight good bacteria, or fight bad bacteria with good bacteria, with two probiotics, it's kind of a double whammy of extra fighting, um, you know, an extra fight underneath there to keep the bacteria away, which will keep the odor away, which is what we want, so people won't think we're gross. Um, also, we have um, castor seed oil in here. When I was, uh, you know, going through my cancer treatment, they had to do a sentinel node underneath my underarm, which means, you know, they they have to go underneath there and see if there's if the cancer went into my lymph nodes. And um, I had a scar there. And castor seed oil is antibacterial and antifungal, anti and it also helps um, fade scars. So I wanted to have an ingredient in there that will not only be antibacterial, antifungal to help with the odor, to help with all the bacteria underneath the arm, but it will also heal my scar. So, I mean, that's a really big deal. A lot of people use castor seed oil for um, the feet, you know, because people get athlete's foot. And um, because this is antifungal, people rub this deodorant on their feet. So that's really awesome if you have um, cracked psoriasis. A lot of people have cracked feet with, from psoriasis. And if you rub this on your feet, it should be extra soothing. Some people also use this deodorant um, as a perfume. I know that probably sounds weird, but it's really, really, it smells so good, and I'll talk about that in a minute, but um, it's also healthy for you, and there's no synthetics in this. So you can actually rub this on your under, uh, on, on your, um, your arm right here, um, and you don't see, I mean, it's, look at it. It's the color of skin. So you won't have any white residue. That's a really big deal too, especially us women, because you know we'll wear black and we might have white, and you don't want that. So this is a tan color. It just goes on. You can't even see it. Like I'll rub it on my arm right here, and you can't even. There's nothing there. You can't even see. Uh, plus, this is a stick deodorant, and um, I'll explain that in a little bit more in a minute. But we have organic white sage in here. Did you know that the Native Americans used to, when they were hunting and gathering, they would grab the branches of the sage and they would rub it underneath their arms to help them to not sweat when they were out doing their thing. So I decided, you know, you don't want to completely inhibit sweating because that releases toxins. But you also don't want to feel gross all day which is one of the reasons for the stick rather than a spray. Um, so we put the organic white sage in there to help with, it's sort of like our aluminum type property, but without the risk of toxic uh, Alzheimer's or, um, you know, cancer. You don't, nobody really knows what aluminum chlorohydrate will do to your body, and everybody's freaked out. And uh, so why not just not worry about it? Use a natural, completely natural deodorant. Uh, it's actually award-winning. Um, this was editor's picks in a lot of big magazines. And uh, we got uh, Best Deodorant in Natural Solutions Magazine. 
So it's really awesome. Uh, anyway, so what also we have in here is tangerine oil, which tangerine and vanilla is what gives it the scent. It smells like a creamsicle. It's one of those really good orange popsicles that you would get, um, you know, in summertime or whenever. I mean, with me, whenever. Um, but this, the tangerine oil actually stimulates the lymphatic system underneath the arm, which is what you want. It actually helps with blood circulation. So I figured, you know, I wanted something that wasn't floral, and I wanted something that would actually do something for the body when you applied it. And you want the blood circulation to get going underneath the arm, especially if you've been using aluminum deodorants for a long time. It's probably going to take about a week or so before your body adjusts to not having your pores stopped up. You have to be able to let your body release all of the toxins that have been stuffed up in there for so long. So give any kind of natural, whether you use Take a Whip or use another natural deodorant, you have to give yourself a week. Uh, to let your body release all of that because if you give it one time and you're like, oh, this doesn't work, that's not realistic because you have so much pent up up there that you just, you need to give your, your body a chance to adjust to a natural deodorant. Uh, that's what I tell all my customers. Anyway, so that's what gives it the wonderful scent. There are not many ingredients in this deodorant. You don't need many things to um, have something work. This is Kind of also natural deodorants, I tell people, yes, it's award-winning, yes, it works on most people, but, you know, natural products are subjective, you know, it, it depends on your own body chemistry, but I'll tell you this works on most people, and I'm sure it'll probably work on you. So I guess I will go through my demo. It, when you get this deodorant, whether at Whole Foods or from my website, Amazon.com, C.O. Bigelow, woohoo! Seal Bigelow, we're in Seal Bigelow now. New York City, hello, West Village. Anyway, it's a big deal to me, I'm sorry. I've been on cloud nine after, you know, we've got accepted into there, so it's a big deal. You will receive a little card that looks like this. And this is your pit pointer card. And this is for those of you that either excessively sweat or for any of us when we need a little extra protection, like on days when we're about to give a big presentation, you know you're just gonna sweat an extra lot. So what you wanna do is you wanna, of course, unscrew the top, and you wanna apply your deodorant. Now, some people have been asking me how many swipes I use, and I never really thought about it before, so, I mean, I don't use that many swipes. But, I mean, a lot of guys use a lot of swipes. So, um, anyway, the pit pointer is basically, this is all you would need on a normal day for me. Um, even when I go work out, that's really all I need. But, you know, there are occasions when it's really hot outside, and here's my pit pointer. Arm & Hammer Baking Soda now has this really cool container. It used to come, or it still comes, in that little orange box. Uh, 25 cents, 35 cents, or something for the little orange box. But I spend a little bit more, and I get it in this really cool... Um, shaker thing. This is a dollar. This is a dollar for this huge thing. Anyway, I take a uh, the top to one of my mineral makeup, and I'll be going over that. I use Everyday Minerals. It's the best makeup ever, and I'm going to do a video on it. But anyway, you want to take a little bit of the baking soda. You can use rice powder, silk powder. My products are vegan, so I usually tell people to use baking soda. Don't use baking powder. Baking powder has aluminum in it. Baking soda or rice powder. And I take a brush. Um, this is a makeup brush, um, but I don't I even use, use this on my face. I just use it underneath my arms. And then I lightly dust underneath my arms. No white residue. And this is like sealing your makeup. You know when you put on powder uh, to seal your makeup and not look shiny? This is the same thing with the deodorant. Um, it just basically seals it for the day, and it really, really works. So that's an awesome pit pointer. I think that that's it. I hope that you guys have a great day. I'm off to another demo. I'm going to the Raleigh store today. Uh, but if you have any questions at all about this deodorant, feel free to ask me questions at the bottom of this video, and I'll be glad to get back to you anytime. So remember, 
last a really long time. I think I'm the only deodorant that will last uh, a year. So um, go ahead and get it and take a whip. Woohoo! Have a good day. Bye.